Hey there ladies and gentlemen, what's up and welcome to this 23rd match for this FFT Revolution AI tournament. Um, so on top, we, well we got our, semi our second semi-finals match. On top we have FPK4, uh, which is our second seed. And then on bottom we have our third seed, uh, uh, Lock2673. These contenders have fought each other before in the past, but I don't remember the matchups at all. But anyways, we got for our units for each of the teams, Weird the Chemist. Sleepy the Knight, Random the Samurai, and Watch the Oracle. Now for Lock 2673, his units comprise of Rose the Knight, excuse me, Daisy the Ninja, Iris the Wizard, and Lily the Dancer. So I do remember a couple of things after taking a look at them. Uh, she's going to spam Golem, which will bait the AI into doing physical attacks. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then... Uh, while she's sitting back, hopefully she'll go for Nameless Stance, get a myriad of status procs. Or just, uh, you know, like frogs in general on these units. Um, I noticed that when I was going through the teams, this unit having maintenance and this unit having uh, concentrate, uh, she will not be able to get hit by the sword skills at all, except Dark Sword. Um, Kaiser play, I remember, I think it's st strengthened earth, wind, and water, so it does not strengthen fire, lightning, and ice, like it did the original. And with all these, they're not going to get boosted by that. But nevertheless, she's got good amount of very good amount of MA, so she'll be able to hit pretty hard against these units. I remember this: the chameleon rope grinding two uh, two speed. So little error on my end right there. But yeah, um, and he's got short charge holy, and I think he can one shot. But nevertheless, um, not sure who to give this to. I think it's going to come down to whether this person can get uh, uh, the statuses off in the. Uh, this knight right here can get a bunch of breaks off, so we'll see. Sorry about that, guys. I actually, uh, Dogla Pass is actually relatively small. I got the map sizes mixed up for some reason, so instead we're going to go to Tiger. And that's where everything is like in a zigzag with uh, mountains in between. It's kind of, I, I'm kind of recollecting my thoughts in the sense that I've, like, described these maps the exact same ways that I'm doing it, like, right now. Like, I've given the exact same description for some of these maps. I know that much. And wow. That's pretty fucking powerful. <laughs> wow, a little ridiculous right there, but it looks like a raise to bring her back up, so that's all good. Um, tilt that camera, there we go. And that's probably a holy. No, actually, you know, because she's got black magic, that's gonna be a flare. That chemist is gonna be fucking dead very shortly from now. And he might go for some breaks. Yeah, very smart. And the poison, and the poison will not wear off. Upon death, so that's interesting, and whoa, the tiles got a little bit buggy. Yep, so... Alright, speed loss, alright, that's at least gonna hit the more prevalent unit, that, uh... That dancer, or well, I should say the samurai in particular, just because, you know, his haste is not going to be as effective now. He's running around with short charge holies, so... That says something. I didn't get an ex I didn't get a perfect look at it, but I'm not sure. I, I, I don't remember what the break was for that chemist. Whether it was armor, it looks like it because he's got lower HP. So yeah, I think that's just a little text bug that I have to add into F of Tactics, which will give me all that stuff. And ooh, a little bit too bad. 72%. Another flare looks like. I don't know if uh, that wizard's gonna get it off. Yeah. Two spells charged, yep. So yeah, that shit's not gonna happen. And wow, a Petra... Eh, uh, I don't know. I guess that was just a little bit of an insurance policy. Uh, like, I don't know. I guess it makes sense that the Samurai went for a Holy, despite the fact that that Oracle went for, uh... Despite the fact that Oracle went for that attack. Um, I always say that just because of the fact that, uh... There's a chance that uh, Petrify Proc might have even missed. So now these guys are going to spam their melee attacks constantly. And ooh, silence! Perfect timing right on that Samurai. Yeah, that was really good right there. That was sweet. And nice try with those 16% chances. It's not going to happen realistically. Probably some, uh, looks like a Chiri Jira Den. Yep, so that'll do some good damage. It's one way to work around Golem. So... Yep, and even though it was 135, that, uh, the remainder of that, 
the regen from that knight is going to heal up the rest of that damage um, that samurai got inflicted. Uh, maybe not that, though. That's not too good. I uh, raise. She's kind of running low on MP. She has move HP up, not move MP up. So, once she runs out of MP, it's not going to be good. And protect and shell on everybody. Good job. Ooh, 8%. Nice. I'm not sure what that broke, but, uh, something good for sure. And, ooh, nobody died there. That's a little bit too bad. Probably the protected shell saved everybody's ass, so... No? Nope. Alright, so I'm not sure if this Petrify will go off. Pretty high odds, 82%. If so, this, uh... Oh, damn, she just got taken out barely. That's a little bit too bad. Let's see. Uh, no kill shot. A little bit too bad. Alright, so if the... If the knight has, um... If the knight has Asuna, then she'll be able to bring that ninja back, but I don't know. Um, spam melee attacks, which is fine. And wow, there's still... Yeah, alright, so his weapon was broken. So that evasion off that samurai is going down the toilet now. Alright, and they're just being baited into attacking her, which is interesting. It's going to give her a little bit of leverage to be able to come back from this, the female knight in particular. We'll see, though. And the golem's just kind of getting refreshed constantly. Yep. <laughs> wow, everybody's targeting her. Keep in mind, she's got slow. And Dark Sword, good job, we're filling her MP. Always helps. Silence, confusion, alright, cool. This, um, the Nameless Stances might be able to turn it around despite it being a current 2 on 4 right now. We'll see. Not a potion triggering? Yeah, this is not looking too good. And the golem off of uh, FPK 4 Zen is kind of being rid of. However, you can easily work around that with things like Life Drain and uh, Samurai skills. And ooh, now the Nameless Stance is kicking in the play. It's not good at all. Yep. Confused Yuna, Yuna's poison, Yuna's asleep. And ooh, it looks like the golem wore off, but I don't think that's going to matter all that much. And wow, crit shot for 344 on a sleeping unit. Very lucky. Wow. So uh, this is quite interesting so far. A little bit of a 3 on 4 going on and... Not a whole lot of damage being dealt basically to that um, that knight. The fact that she's got Dark Sword means that she's going to be able to... Uh, means that she's going to be able to just replenish her MP kind of, in an, kind of infinitely essentially. And eventually she'll be able to go for breaks too. That's the most important thing. She'll be going for breaks inevitably. So... And wow, really nice use of fairy right there, resurrecting that unit at the very last second, so. Only regen, unfortunately, so not that good. I'm not sure what she's going for. It looks like a fire four or something. However, that might get canceled out with the spell. Yep, I don't know if that's going to kill. Yep, it does. Alright. So it's still kind of tough to call because... That dancer is just roaming free and kind of messing up shit, so... And I think uh, Lockitu's kind of coming back from this right now because of that dancer. Just kind of... Disrupting the flow and the consistency that... Uh, FPK4 had, I guess you could say, so... These constant status effects are just messing everything up, frankly. And now that unit's uh, weapon is broken, his armor is broken, and now he stopped? Yeah, this is not looking good for FPK4 at all, so... A little bit too bad. And now that's two points of speed that I've been keeping track of that that samurai has lost. Now he's back to his normal 8-speed self. I think this is going to be going to Lockatee right now. All because of that dancer, but do keep in mind, this is on a large map, so... It does benefit him quite a bit, actually. In haste, and unfortunately, not getting rid of the um, poison. 200 damage, alright. Eventually that, um... Eventually that knight for FBK4 is gonna expose her back, and when that happens, uh... Lockitu's knight is gonna be able to capitalize on that and eventually break her equipment. Inevitably, despite all the evasion, Inevitably, she's gonna get her stuff equipment broken, and if she gets like her weapon broken, 
that is not going to be a good sign whatsoever. So, and unfortunately, Night Sword missed, but she does have Dark Sword. She can go for that. If I recall, I believe I made Night Sword unavailable. That way, um, that way, anybody who decided to use sword skills would have a way of replenishing their MP. And wow, a double hit! That's really good use of reflect right there. I like that. I like that a lot. If that guard would have hit, um, I think that knight would have been killed off right there, so... Yep, massive amounts of evasion, but eventually something is going to trigger. And she's got poison, so the residual damage is going to come into play, for sure. Yep, and this round looks like it's going to lock it to... Um, uh, lock it to 673 for sure, so... Yep, now she's just going to be baited in the melee, and with death sentence, that kind of, uh... That kind of clinches it for uh, Lockitu right now. So this is really good. This is the this is just a really good map for him to be on. Things are going to be much different on a small map, especially for that summoner, or I should say that dancer. Excuse me, because she's going to be targeted far more often, and she'll probably be using like fairy and such to resurrect them far more frequently than the other way around of being able to just kind of sit around and do nothing. <laughs> Pointless chakra. Uh, I don't know actually. Well, I think the MP cost for those sword skills are not enough. Yeah, so 20, I think she's now she's got enough MP. But it doesn't matter, we're going to a round 2 once the soft female knight gets her turn in. And yeah, we'll be uh, finishing it up. Yep. We're just waiting for her to go down. And yeah, we'll be going there shortly. We're going to be going the inside of the windmill shed, where we graph you um, see him with uh, Golagros or whatever. So yeah, that's the map we're going to be going to. Yep, I'll see you guys there. And here we go, yeah, sorry about that. Normally I see something as soon as the map loads up, but I was looking away from my screen for a little bit. Let's see how much of a difference this makes. 60%? Keep in mind, arm and leg aim do not regard evasion. Uh, or I should say they disregard it altogether, so... Yep! Kill shot right off the bat, so... That puts uh, Lock at 2673 a little bit on... Uh, a little bit of an edge, but at the same time, you could argue that it's a little bit equal, because that knight can't do anything. And remember, that knight has got a lot of evasion. And as such, she um, is going to be subjected to uh, breaks now. With a don't act. And that's always perfect. Leviathan? Each for store, good job. Uh, this will probably kill her off. Yeah, I know that that female wizard is relatively squishy. And Remedy curing at the last second. Ooh, a little bit too bad. Yeah, so this is definitely a 180 compared to the last experience we had. Yep. There's uh, two units are dead. And you have a knight just, that's just constantly resurrecting. 100% petrify! <laughs> I remember when I went into FFT patch, I made the hit rates for everything, like, e exceptionally high. So that's why it's 100%. Low guard, good job with that Kaiser plate. It's pretty cool right there to see. However, three units are hasted. Eventually that, uh, explode, uh, eventually, uh, a proc is going to trigger on that knight. She's going to run out of MP too. Remember, she does not have move MP up. The only way she can get replenish her MP is with uh, Dark Sword. So, yep. Um, and the Cheery is going to probably... Uh, it's going to put that ninja in the critical. Well, it was, I should say. But a little good use right there of uh, Twin Crossbows. 100% stop. Looks like some equipment's going to get broken. Oh, no. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, so that knight is running low on MP. She's got to use Dark Sword if she wants to have a chance. Two units are petrified, making it a two on four. And, uh... Alright, so the AI was trying to, uh... Yeah, that was a really bad use right there. The AI was just trying to cure that don't act, but because of the height tolerance, uh, they couldn't get it. I should say that chemistry wasn't able to get the... Uh, that spell on, so... And if you're wondering the reason why that missed right there, uh, that Masamuni on that Oracle in particular, is simply due to the fact that um, that Oracle uh, already has regen. 
And that's a lot of damage right there. 260, holy crap. That's what that samurai should be going for. Instead of just draw, but... I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, that was a really fucking quick round, holy shit. <laughs> wow, alright, with that said, I guess we're going to go to our tiebreaker and see uh, uh, what a middle-sized map is going to do for us. Yep. And welcome back, so... I guess you could say this is our medium-sized map, and uh, even though these units are going to probably get right in each other's faces off the bat, that's mostly because of uh, high targeting from all of them, so yeah. Um, the thing too is that Dancer's going to at least be able to stay back and try to do something right off the bat. Now, if uh, Flockatu gets a little bit unlucky, he might... Uh, if Flockatu gets unlucky, he might get put in the sandbag mode right away, and as a result that, uh, Dancer won't really be able to do her thing. But we'll see. Alright, so... It's pretty good right there. Um, and the float, pretty good job right there, and wow, that hit for a truckload, but it doesn't make sense with the Holy Explosion. Um, aw. I thought she would've went for, uh, Nameless Dance. Oh well. So each of them are one for one, however, I think that, uh, I think that, uh, never mind, I was going to say Lakitu is, uh, a little bit ahead, but now that one unit's dead, the other's confused, and the other's in critical, um, it's been completely 180'd. And now I think about it too, yeah, that slow two in the beginning took place as well, having the speed. I think that Titan finishes it off. Yeah, so that was a pretty decisive victory. Um, I don't know if this fairy's going to hit both units. It does. That's pretty cool right there. Nice. I like that. question is whether she's going to be able to get anything off in time, if it's going to be relevant. Probably not. Maybe a kill shot? I don't know. I don't think that knight was in range to do anything, so that's probably the reason. Oh, wow. That was on FPK. Wait, hold on. Why did, um... Oh! Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, the ninja was going for her own knight because she was confused to begin with. Uh, no confusion proc, sadly. That could have uh, been a big tide turner if that would have taken place, but unfortunately it didn't. Healing up HP and uh, killing simultaneously, always good. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to matter all that much at this point. Yeah, especially the massive range on Asura, too. I think FP4 is going to take this one. I think, really, um, the Dancer being able to just do her thing with Golem and then eventually cripple them with Nameless Dance, I think that's what netted Lakitu the victory to begin with. I think, um, in terms of team composition, it looks like FPK4 has got a little bit of a lead. I think uh, that Samurai having 10 base speed... Uh, made a little bit of a difference overall. And I say that just because of the fact that 10 speed with short charge is pretty quick. Uh, I don't think this is good. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. From the looks of it, that uh, wizard's going to do 259 and should be able to kill off the samurai. And that samurai just moved um, right after that wizard did, so he might be able to get a couple kill shots off. Um, we'll see. The holy might go off, though. He's charging it, so probably will go off before. We'll see, though. Wow, that's ridiculous. <laughs> wow, she's charging for that long. It's probably weaker than uh it's probably weaker than Holy itself, so I'm a little bit surprised, but we'll see. Um back is exposed. Uh unfortunately no silence uh proc hit that samurai, but then again it didn't hit to begin with, but still. Those slow twos just having the number of turns that those units get is pretty powerful. And a double kill yeah, that um, knight is quite a bit of a tank, but even she's going to eventually go down, so I don't really see, um, I don't see Lakitu being able to come back from this. I think he'll be able to withhold with that fairy, but if uh, the numbers are correct, I think that uh, Samurai's going to be able to take him down, no problem. And wow! <laughs> Two sixty percent chances missing, yeah, and the big tank just went down on Lakitu's end, so FBK4 has definitely got this for sure. He's in the lead. Um, and because of the fact that that uh, knight is out of range, only the wizards can get resurrected. 
but it's a fruitless act because she's gonna eventually be put down and 11% breaks uh, not too good yep now it is up to a dancer and there's no way she's gonna be able to do this they're gonna slowly just uh, ascend their way up that tower and since she's the only one she has no choice but to do that Alright, double hit. Oh wow, she brought all three of her units up into that range. Wow. <laughs> I think it's um, not going to matter all that much. I think this unit's going to be able to postpone it, but, but not by a whole lot. Um, that uh, FPK 4's Knight losing around P is a little bit relevant, just because of the fact that she can't use sword skills now with the concentrated breaks, but it won't matter. We'll see if that dancer is able to get another turn in. Nope. Oh wait a minute though, she's do she does remember she does have a 77% chance of getting HP restore, yeah. Um eventually FPK4 I believe is gonna take this once um I believe he's gonna take this once uh one of those HP restores doesn't trigger. So we'll see. Yeah, nameless dance. I mean if there was like three frogs in a row, maybe, but that the chances of that are very slim to none of that kind of stuff taking place. Uh, I'm not sure what she's going for. Oh, Petrify, it's over, yep. Alright, with that said, we had an interesting uh, uh, best of three between these two contestants. Um, Lockage 673, good job, you lasted as long as you did. You will be uh, participating in the next match with uh, Ludovicia to determine who the third and fourth place uh, positions, you know, the consolation match. That will be uh, match 24. And then match 25, guys, will be the championship match between Anima Zero and FPK4. I'll see you guys later. Yep.